Hi, I'm Deepthi Chalupati from Amazon Web Services. Today, I'm going to walk you through a few simple rules to follow when launching Amazon EC2 Spot Instances. Spot Instances enable you to optimize costs on AWS Cloud and scale your application's throughput up to 10 times for the same budget. In this video, I'll show you two simple rules to follow when thinking about launching Spot Instances. Rule 1. Spot pools have separate prices and change less frequently. Each instance type, size, and availability zone in every region is a separate spot pool. For example, C3 2 extra large in US East 1C has a separate price, and C4 8 extra large in US East 1C has a separate price. Price for C3 2 extra large in US East 1C is 10.9 cents right now, but it could be 9 cents tomorrow, and it adjusts based on long term supply and demand. Rule 2. Amazon EC2 will give you a two-minute warning when we need the capacity back. You can request spot capacity similar to on-demand and always pay the current spot price. When we need the capacity back, you will get a two-minute warning. We send you the notification via spot instance status. There are two reasons your spot instance could be marked for termination. Because the current spot price has risen above your maximum willingness to pay or capacity is no longer available to serve your instance. The bid status of your spot instance request is set to marked for termination and the spot termination time metadata is set to a time precisely two minutes in the future. In this video, we have discussed two simple rules to follow when launching Amazon EC2 spot instances. You can find more information at aws.amazon.com slash ec2 slash spot. Thanks for watching.